Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nilesh Hulgi and you are watching Techie Programma. So today in this video we are going to make use of Tkinter and then we are going to create a QR code generator. So let's get started and let me show you a demo of it. Uh, let me just launch my PyCharm and let me just run my project here and let me just hide this okay so for example if i want to make a qr code for my page that is techie underscore pro grammar and if i hit on make qr then it will generate this particular qr code and here you can see there is a line called this qr code is for and then the text that you have written here so this is the data enter the data make qr this is the okay so uh, yeah, let it uh, just fix this that is qr code generator this is the title and this is the frame okay so let's get started uh, let me just jump into the code and i'll explain you how the things work so uh, in order to make the video short uh, what i've made is i have already written the code i'll be explaining you so that uh, the things go pretty well and it becomes easy and the video remains short as possible so first of all uh, here I am importing two libraries one is the tkinter which comes default and one thing that you need to install is pyqr code and you can just install it going to the terminal and writing pip install pyqr code I have already installed that so it says requirement already satisfied so if you are not yet installed then it will install for you and you can just retry this and it should say requirement already satisfied so once done with importing of these libraries then what you can do is create a window so this particular thing that is root equals to tkinter dot capital tk then we are setting the qr code generator so here you can see that this is called qr code generator then this is the title then the data entry this is the data entry that is this particular box here then we are so storing that into the data and we are creating this is a widget actually a uh, into a widget called entry box then we are creating a function uh, we will later enter into the function what this does before that what we are going to do is just create the tick into box that looks beautiful for us then let's add the functionality so this is heading this is the heading let me just change it to qr code okay that was a spelling mistake let me just read on this okay it should it should run yeah here you can see qr code let me just retype this text underscore pro okay so now here you can see the qr code generator is your title and this is the data entry as said then this is the heading this is the heading then this is a subtitle subtitle is this this is the subtitle i just named it as subtitle that is the enter the data here you can see enter the data the text is set to this and the font is times and the size is 20 and then we are going to create something called as make button or make qr here you can see there is a button called make qr so this is basically this button here so take into dot button then call it in the root then text is this then what we are going to do is writing setting a argument called command equals to gen qr without parenthesis so we are calling this particular function on the tap of this button once done, we are creating an image view wherein we are going to place this image where we can see a bitmap image. This is what uh, we are going to display. So we are creating a label in root section and a statement that is this last line. This is a statement. Uh, it says this is a QR code for. So this is a statement that both are label. So now let's enter when the button is pressed, it will be calling something called as generate QR. So entering to the generate QR, here we have two variables. One is dta and another is xbm underscore image so what is the dta does is from this data it collects the entry and stores in dta and what we are going to do is use this create and create a dta like image for that 
then we are going to uh, work on that and if we uh, want that in PNG then um, as explained in the previous video if you have not checked out that you can just go into the description and you can just follow that wherein uh, we can con I have told how you can create a PNG image by installing PyPNG and for in order to display that particular image in uh, this tkinter what I'm doing is I'm converting it to bitmap image so the scale is equal to 5 scale is nothing but just the size of that particular bitmap or uh, so that image or how much big that QR code should look then that is stored in the test then what we are going to do is we are going to create a tkinter dot bitmap so we are going to create a bitmap image that is xmb xpm underscore image and we are setting the data the data is nothing but your test that is the xmb this particular file then we are setting the foreground to blue and background to yellow so you can see this is the foreground color that is blue and the background that is yellow so once done with that what we are going to do is going to show that image in order to show that image we have already created this image view that is nothing but a label in root window we are taking that root dot config we are going to configure that and set the image equals to xbm this particular bitmap image and then we can view this here once done with this we are going to create a string concatenation and say that this uh, qr code is for and get the data from this particular entry box so what we are going to do is here you can see this is the qr code for at techie underscore programmer so this is how this particular function works after this uh, everything is done uh, we need to make sure that the uh, gui looks beautiful so what we're going to do is use grid function uh, or a grid method in order to place the wedges if you don't know what is grid uh, then it's kind of an excel sheet if you can you can imagine this as an excel sheet and you can just think like this is a zeroth row this is the first row okay and this is the zero sorry this is the zeroth row this is the first row second row third row and this is the fourth row and talking about the columns this is the zeroth column this is the first column okay so uh, here you can see this qr code generator is in between the column zero and column one so we call it as a column span of two so here we can see that the parameter called column span equals to two so we are setting everything to as said like this is zero one two three and four here you can see that zero one two three and four because these two are on this is on column zero and column one so you can see this is column zero and this is column one so we have set this everything uh, placed uh, placed in the uh, particular um, frame then let's call the main loop this basically function this function basically does is it just keeps the window on for you if you just neglect this then it will just appear and once and it just disappear and in you know, order to keep it in a loop you need to just pass something like a root dot main loop so once done with this uh, you can test your code and let's see uh, actually it does work because i have already shown you but still we can try for different things so yes your this is the ui that you get and you can write something like hello python and generate a qr so you can see that uh, the smaller the test the smaller the text size or the string you pass or the smaller than the size of data the smaller is the qr code and if i randomly type some uh, huge data like let me just drag some stuff here you can see the size of the qr code increases so this is what we have built today and that's it for today and one more i have a project uh, i will just uh, if you want the link for the source of this i will provide this in the description so you can just copy paste it from there or i will just provide you a python file there or a link to a python file to my drive and you can get it from there so uh, in the next uh, another tutorial uh, it's not going to be a tutorial but uh, i have a python file which uh, is pretty good at this doing this stuff uh, it's pretty pretty little bit of advanced kind of stuff i will just post that into the next video i will just describe uh, the working of that and you can just download the file again at the description of that next video so stay tuned for the next video and uh, do let me know if you like this video and uh, if you have any topic suggestion you can do it in the comment section uh, if if there is possible that i can build it then i will surely do that and make a video on that so that's it for today see you in the next video